Friday, and uh, the weekend is here, and I'm happy about it. Do you think there's any chance I'm not putting that in? <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Hello, everyone. One take. That's all I need. Oh, man. I'm perfect at what I do. Gosh. Welcome to How is everybody? Life Max, life. you're back Hello. there? Fantastic. Allie's back there? Hi. Allie, you getting used to this? Yeah, a little bit. What do you think? I love it. Should we ask you some personal questions and find um, out a little bit about you? You Ooh. can. <laughs> Whoa there. How long have you been cooking? Uh, always. Always? Yeah. What's your best dish? Oh, God. Um, I make some killer banana pancakes. <gasps> do you? Speaking of breakfast. Breakfast week. Speaking yeah. of breakfast week. Uh, what do you do that makes them different, apart from putting bananas in? Uh, I don't know that there's anything like crazy different. I mean, they're home. It's a homemade. Oh, pancake. you go all scratch. Yeah, so it's See, scratch. I don't do that. I don't I do, do that with pancakes. Can you send yeah. me that recipe, please? Because yeah. I want. You make to, scratch pancakes? I, I never have, but now I want to because so I love pancakes. It's worth it. it uh, <sighs> what is it? I mean, flour, milk, and yeah. eggs. Yeah, butter milk. Do you do buttermilk? Uh, I have. Yeah. I mean, I don't regularly. But I like a buttermilk pancake. I mean, yeah. uh, just I, I find them a little a little tangier. Yeah. I find them a little bit more interesting. Strange. But I don't make my own pancakes. I buy. <laughs> I not only do I buy a package mix, mm -hmm. but I don't even buy the mix that you need to add like milk and butter to. I buy the <laughs> just add water mix. Water. Straight Ew. bisquick. <laughs> but I'm always adding stuff to them. Well, that's good. You know, look, you mix them, uh, you put them in a hot pan. That's the time if you're going to add fillings, right? Mm -hmm. Is that when you add your banana pieces? Uh, or do you, do you mix them in? I mix the banana in. Oh. See, I don't do pieces. I mash. I add, oh, like, you mash, mash into the... Oh, that... And then okay, like, okay. doughy on the inside. Look at Max. So there you go. Got, that's what you... That's her okay. different thing. That's that, that, sure. There you go. Now you're talking. Now I can see how that would be good. <laughs> uh -huh. By the way, I could still do that with my just add water mix i could just mash up some uh okay. overripe bananas and put it into the whole thing mm -hmm. but when i add things once i pour the pancake into the pan if i'm going to throw some stuff in like blueberries or nuts or uh -huh. chocolate chips or whatever that's the time i find that's the time to do it Th that's my question because sometimes you do that though and um i mean it, it doesn't like get into the pancake it like right. always it's there. stays it's there. on oh, the no, no. outer it's edge it's there it's there sure. I just want to have it like inside. Well, I want to be able to maybe take <laughs> Allie's recipe for mashed banana pancakes like and make it. I like it. Hey, wait, by the way, <laughs> yeah. Allie's got an awesome food blog. Why don't you pull it up? It's called oh, Foodie Heart. Foodie Heart. Yeah, so uh, I think she's our first Sam Livecast crew member to have her own food blog. Yeah. Wait, right? she was, uh, yeah, and what's cool is she was a fan first and now she's, she's here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, lemon, oh, lemon blueberry. It's there's the blueberry. Foodieheart.com. Really? Look at that. Pretty. Go down no, again. See Let's see what else Do you see down. what I mean? How she makes like real things. Donut. Hey, we did those. Same <laughs> donuts, donuts with the biscuits. Things. We okay. made those. Keep going. Okay. Ooh, the Zupa Toscana. Zupa Toscana. Yeah, I could, we could make that. I That's a nice little that. cocktail. That just looks sweet and I wouldn't like too sweet. <laughs> She's a girl. Alcohol. Leave her alone. I hate cupcakes or muffins, <laughs> so I don't need those. That oh, veggie looks well, like it's not unhealthy enough for me i wouldn't eat that oh my god <laughs> that's just me just... hey 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 hey. Hey, where's your blog i don't know <laughs> this don't is really your blog, blog essentially i suppose it is um we were talking last what day about things that waiters do that make you crazy yeah here's something that i just added to the list mm -hmm. i don't like it when you you give them their your order and either they come back or another server comes back and has to say, oh, uh, who gets the ribeye? Who gets the chicken? Mm. That is so There's a way on the thing that they write. You put the food at whatever position. Like every table in the restaurant orients itself to whatever, 12 o'clock on some side. So someone's three, someone's six, someone's nine. But figure that out. I don't like it when they ask. They need to be more professional than that. No, okay. How about then, just to take it one step further? Well, that's even worse. Yeah. How about when somebody else comes back with the dishes and then they just start putting them down in all the yeah. wrong places? I, that's yeah, just, that's I've funny. had that happen so many times and I'm like, this is not my dish. Yeah. I mean, that's I think just, that's on the that's other side of the mental. table. That's just mental. It's just mental. Okay. Really quick. Yeah. If you guys want to see that episode, all you got to do is go to the samlivecast.com or go to iTunes and search the Sam Livecast. And uh, do your thing. Thank you. Uh, take my computer for a second. Tell me if you know who this is. <clears throat> One sec. Sorry. That's right. 
Oh, sorry. Why do I have to wait? So okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Who is that? You know who that is? Um, a person. Do you know, Allie? Uh, I don't. Somebody uh, network. His name is Kevin Roberts. Okay. He's a local San Diego chef. Um, and despite what I'm about to read to you, mm -hmm. I've never disliked him for any reason. Kevin, I, I, I've never heard that name in my okay. life. Kevin Roberts. His his TV name is the Food Dude. Oh, oh God! Right? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> um, he's been on a show called uh, I think it's called Barbecue America. He was a host of that. I think that's what it was called. Mm -hmm. We could probably find his Wikipedia. Yeah, we're looking it up. He was on the uh, he was on uh, uh, the next Food Network star and and didn't make didn't didn't go to the end or whatever. I mean, only one person goes to the end, but um, and he used to. He has a couple restaurants here in town. And here's why I bring this up. Look at my computer. Back in 2009, somebody called me up one day and said, hey, this guy uh, in this article in the paper, he kind of just shit all over you. I go, what? I go, who shit all over me? Why would somebody shit on me? And how I read it. I'm going to read it to you. So the article says, food dude calls out Sam the cooking guy. Kevin Roberts talks about a rivalry that exists between the two San Diego TV chef personalities. So this is three years ago. Kevin Roberts invited me. This is, I don't know who wrote this. Uh, where's the author's name? Ron Donahoe. Invites me to check out his restaurant, Pacific Beach Short Club, blah, blah, blah. I take it home, say, nah, 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 nah. Talks about himself and blah, blah, blah. And then, the, and then uh, Ron Dono writes, but I was having fun shooting the breeze with the food dude. Then I jokingly asked him if he and Sam, the cooking guy, Zion, have a rivalry. <laughs> Both are uh, locals who have written foodie books and appear on TV shows. Oh, yeah. Of course there's a rivalry, <laughs> says the dude. I go into Borders and cover his book with my book. I'm always on the shelf between him and Rachel Ray. Hey. <laughs> I've been on the Today Show with Al Roker. He did one segment with Kathy Lee Gifford, and they'll never have him back again. What? So this is completely out of the blue, right? By the way, just let me clarify here. Um, the segment with Kathy Lee Gifford was my second time on the Today Show. Yeah. I've now been there 13 times. Uh, the, not, yeah, not only is this guy a douche, he's completely wrong. But wait. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, man. He did one segment with Kathleen Gifford, and they'll never have him back again. Would dude like to go all Iron Chef on Cooking Guy? I can't believe this writer. <laughs> yeah. Here's, here's his response. Yeah. He'd probably just make some sort of bagel sandwich, wouldn't he? Snorts the food dude. Head to head, I'd kill him. I'd fry him. I'd show him how to pan roast. I grew up in a kitchen. He barely knows what he's doing in there. <laughs> wow. Why, why wow. the hatred? Why the hatred? I don't know. This but guy's... This was 2009. It's four years ago. Is that four years? I can do this. 2009 <laughs> to 10 to 11 to 12 to 13. It's four years ago because it was March. That's almost exactly four years, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He goes on. We've never talked to each other, but we've crossed paths once, says the dude. We walked past each other on the street and just sort of stared at each other. I hope he sees this. Yeah. I hope he knows I'm going to knock him off the bookshelf. Oh, oh my God. God. Is it me? Or was this weird? Beyond and I weird. read it. I read it, and I couldn't believe it. This is, okay, it's pretty fairly clear that this guy is trying to elevate himself to your level by like <laughs> calling you out when he just so clearly isn't so this is an interview he invites a writer to come talk to him at his restaurant and then he spends the time talking about me yeah no exactly zion did <laughs> zion did not reply to an email request for comment do you recall getting an email or anything absolutely you do and you were just like i said i'm not going to get into this 
Yeah. What's well, the point? Get Am I going to get into a pissing <laughs> match with somebody that I don't even fucking know? Right. It's the same thing when I when the Today Show thing happened with Kathy Lee Gifford, and everybody's like, "Don't you hate her?" I go, "I have no reason to hate her." She didn't. Like, I mean, she was just doing her thing. I was doing my thing. Mm-hmm. I've had apart from this, I've had no reason to dislike Kevin Roberts until last one, Monday. <laughs> Oh, wait. Are you, <laughs> did something else happen? Yes. Oh, no. So last, a week ago, week ago Monday, I was the MC at the Chef Bands con- event. Yes. At the Belly Up. It's like 10 uh, restaurant organized bands all playing for charity. Community for, a center for community solutions, right? One of which... Was Matt Gordon who has been Matt, a one of which was of the Matt show, Gordon? Of the show. Matt Gordon uh, took second place. Nice. Matt His Gordon band, and Matt Gordon solace. is the most unassuming rocker. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> look like that. He doesn't have the ink all over him. He doesn't have the hair. He's he's a guy, and he gets up there and he wails like crazy. Mm-hmm. So I'm uh, I'm a co MC with uh, Josh Kopelman from Dining Out San Diego Magazine. There's seven judges. One of them, I find out, is Kevin Roberts. <laughs> so I go in. I'm doing my thing. I'm saying hello to people. I find Josh. We agree we need to start. And all the judges are in like one section over here, right beside the stage. And I'm standing over in front of the stage talking to Josh. Three, four people come up and want to say hello and take pictures and stuff. And I'm noticing that Kevin Roberts is staring at me. So you recognize the guy? Uh, of course. I read this article and I knew his face. I have no recollection of, hold on, let me get this right. I have no recollection of crossing paths once with him. And how I don't recall down. walking past him on the street and just sort of staring at him. That's such bullshit. Right? <laughs> but I know it's Kevin Roberts and he's sitting there. In fact, before it's time to, to start, and Josh and I are talking about, we got to introduce the judges. I go, okay, I don't want to introduce Kevin Roberts. He goes, how come I go? Because he, I don't think he likes me very much. <laughs> he wrote an article, he read some, wrote some stuff about me. So I just rather you introduce him. So Josh goes, no problem. I'll do that. So we were, introduced the judges. We introduced the bands. The concert starts. Now it's somewhere around the second band. And I noticed that Kevin Roberts is no longer in his seat. I figured he's that's fine. He's just in the crowd watching or something like that. And then I notice a couple minutes after that that somebody else is in his seat. Ian Ward from Pick and Rocks Cocktail uh, Company. His partner Lucian Connor is sitting in his seat, and Lucian's now holding like a judging um, clipboard. Yeah. And I walk over and I go, "Hey, what uh, what happened to Kevin?" And Lucian says. Uh, I don't know. He said something came up and he had to leave. <laughs> so now I have a reason to dislike the guy. You, do you really, the, guy the guy bolted from the event. The guy he said was, he'd be a judge. He committed to being a judge. He was and now afraid. he left the event. Now, did he leave the event because he didn't like the bands after hearing one or two? Or did he leave the event because he hated me so much he couldn't be 12 feet from me the whole night? I have no idea what it was, but all I know is when I commit to something, whether I like it or not, I stick with it. I the, both both thing both explanations for why he might have left are bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he's either a complete if he left if he left quitter if he left because he hates me or he's just a pussy and that's yeah. that's a pussy move. Yeah, if he left because he didn't want to be there, then he's a quitter and a douche that's bag, a quitter yeah. and a douche move. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's no good way for this to come out. Yeah. I had no reason to dislike him, even though he said those stupid things in that article. Now I do. Because I'd like to know, yeah. I'd like to know how many of these he has, <laughs> how many books he has published, and how many times he's oh, been on this Today Show. God, because I don't know. Ali and but... I just did a quick little uh, Amazon search yeah. and couldn't find anything. No, he does have a book. I think it's called... Yeah. It's, it's a not kissing on Amazon. It's, it's a restaurant. Oh, wait. So check this out. So I went to look him up on... on um, mm-hmm. The Facebook. So you type in the food dude, which is his name, right? Yeah. So I take my computer. Here are the results. Keep watching. None of these are him. 
<laughs> Apparently the guy picks a shitty name if uh, 8,000 other people <laughs> wait. And then look at there's more. I could do I could hit this and get to more results. <laughs> You're not, we're not going to find it. I, mean, I, I don't know. And fooddude.com is somebody completely different. We found it. We know his what well, we found his website. Which was that, Allie? Yeah. It's um Oh wait, it's munchiestv.com. Munchies TV. <laughs> get off that shot, please. Oh, whatever that, that was shot you, is. Yeah. Um that was the article. Yeah. All right. So, look, we don't what need a bizarre to... just whole yeah. situation. I, I think Maybe I'm we the most get him here. In why studio? would I, I don't think, you know, hate me cuz you think I'm I don't know, shitty cook or whatever, but to say all that stuff, it didn't bother me then and I didn't hate him then. I thought it was just stupid that he would take what was supposed to be a conversation about himself. You got a writer in front of you, man. No, I know. It's Preach like, the gospel about your shit. Or at least have some constructive criticism why, or some... Why get up some, in my face? What the fuck have I ever yeah. done to him? No, we should just like... But I still, I didn't hate him then. Rumors. Now, <laughs> I hate him because of what he did the other night at this event. Yeah. Because yeah. that was either a pussy or a shitty move. One of the two. I'll go with coward. <clears throat> <laughs> right. I feel like I've spent way too much time talking about him. No, that was I don't, great. I don't mean to. That, I don't mean I, to. But, I enjoyed it. But it's ridiculous. <laughs> I wanted to talk about rice cookers, and I'm going to save that for, <laughs> for next week because uh, I was at Mark and Katie's yesterday. Katie wanted to buy uh, my nephew, Mark. His girlfriend wanted to buy him a rice cooker for Christmas, and I recommended one that was like 25 bucks, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's an amazing little rice cooker. And yet I was in one of my favorite Japanese markets the other day and the rice cookers there, they're like 150 to $400. Whoa, really? What are they? And huge? I want to make sure people don't see that and go, Oh, well I'm not buying a rice cooker. They're too expensive. So we'll talk about rice cookers, but we're not going to talk about it today. We'll save that for Monday. And I don't know what, maybe, I don't know what we'll do next week, but at some point we're going to talk about rice cookers and oh, we have yes. to, we have to finish off uh breakfast week we do you wonder what i'm making i do yes making what i guess for lack of a better term would be called what the hell's it called a breakfast <laughs> fried rice oh and just so you know there's no question in my mind if it's breakfast there's eggs involved uh, okay our three breakfast items of breakfast week have been the german pancake right. aka the dutch baby and so there wasn't a, there wasn't a uh there wasn't eggs involved with that but, but there was with the huevos rancheros by the way make those huevos rancheros so rancheros good. they're so good add a little chipotle add the cumin we did to the black beans you don't need the refried beans i'm telling you they are so good yeah and today we'll also involve another egg <laughs> breakfast fried rice do you, what I was going to say is you realize that you've, for breakfast week, you did Mexican, or sorry, German, <laughs> no Mexican, no and now Chinese. Asian. <laughs> Look, at, here's the thing. Um, probably my favorite go-to after a night of partying or drinking or whatever meal to have is warm, uh, sort of sticky Japanese rice mm -hmm. in a bowl, an over-easy fried egg on top of that with a squeeze of Japanese mayo, and then this sort of Japanese paprika kind of thing called house spice. Uh, can't remember the, there's a, uh, what the hell, hold on. What the hell is this stuff called? Jeez, you're really putting the dogs to sleep. Togarashi, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's called togarashi. And it looks like this. We'll get a close-up of it after. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a combination of uh, red pepper, roasted orange peel, yellow sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, Japanese wow. pepper, seaweed, and ginger. Wow. It's just a really great thing. Yeah. Anyway, rice, over-easy fried eggs. So you get the runny yolk in the whole thing, mm -hmm. the Japanese mayo that kind of sweetens it up a little bit, and then this for spice on top. My favorite go-to thing, rice and an over easy fried egg is in my wheelhouse and could very well be one of my last meals. It'd be <laughs> my last lunch. I think I'd go for the full eggs Benedict thing for dinner, but we're gonna do fried rice with an over easy fried egg on it. Oh, Jeez, okay, I'm so This hungry. is just gonna be so stupid. You're killing it's gonna be me. fantastic. Okay, I'm ready to uh, cook. If you're ready to cook, let's hit it.
Okay, we're back and here's where we're starting. Uh, I have a pan on the heat, my wok, my trusty wok. Uh, and now I'm just cutting up some of these uh, little cremini mushrooms like this. I'll just take a mushroom cap, I don't deal with the stem. Cut it in half, turn it, and then just do this with it. Little pieces, and these are now gonna go in here. And you know what mushrooms, the whole deal with mushrooms, they shrink down to nothing. Yeah, they do. So it's, I mean, I'm not making a ton of this, but I'm making enough that I want this and it's gonna do its thing, so. That will start to heat, thank you very much. All right. Hey, I almost bought that unseasoned grill that you used to Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, here's the deal. Max uh, showed me a picture, sent a picture of his, of a new grill pan, grill pan like this. This kind. It was a, not, it was a, a cast iron grill pan. But when you buy a, a cast iron pan, you either have to season it, and that means you have to put time in to getting it hot, rubbing oil on it, letting it cool, do that over and over, and that helps you start to build up like a coating that makes them sort of non-stick like. You either have to do that work yourself, or nowadays, you can just buy one that's already seasoned. And so he sends a picture of it, he's all excited for it, and I go, is it pre-seasoned? He goes, no. And I said, take it back. Just take it back. Because the seasoned one was the same exact price. It's pretty much, yeah. I mean, I mean, I can't, I don't know why it would be. Why wouldn't that one that they've already done the work for be more money? Okay, so look. Nice, right? Beautiful. Back up for one second. And don't step over the little baby dog who's just hiding and now trying to look like he's not going to be in the way and stuff. Oh crap. All right, enough of him. Okay, uh, breakfast. Breakfast fried rice. Ham. So I'm using ham, yeah. yeah. It seemed like a, oh God, it peed out a little bit. It seemed like the right thing. Doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they put bacon in. I could put bacon. Fried the other fried rice that I've made here before, I put bacon in, but I want uh, I wanted to do ham with this. So we'll just cut these guys. Little matchsticks. Well, you know what I wish? Are you taking a piece? Look at you. How mental are you looking at trying to get that? <laughs> Throw it back here. You know what I wish? I wish Kevin Roberts was here to teach me how to cut uh, this, <laughs> this ham. It would really be so much more beneficial to me because I'm sure I'm not using the knife the right way. <laughs> God. I don't need all of this. Just a little bit more. Which name do you think was created first? Sam the cooking guy or the food dude? I don't know. I'm guessing you. I don't know, my I friend. Think it was you. And I don't care. I really do not care. Little oil. Okay, these are good so far. Nice. Let's throw in the ham now to get some nice color on this. And we know that it won't just be color that it gets, Max we know it will be a ton of flavor because heat changes things. Yes, it does. <laughs> Welcome to the Sam Live Cast. Heat changes things. That's our motto. Uh, mushrooms, ham. What else do I want to put in this? I've got to think this through. I'm going to add one thing at the end that's a bit unusual that I think will work, that I hope will work. But I can't. So let me get my eggs out. Oh, hey, by the way, yeah. this is the Togiyashi. Oh, Togarashi. Wow, what did you say? Togiyashi. Togarashi. Why can't you say that? Togarashi, I just didn't know that first. I think you called it sukiyaki. <laughs> so there's, look, there's two ways to do eggs in um, fried rice. One of them is, one of them is that you, you beat the eggs 
and you cook them in the bottom of the pan until they make like a little pancake. And then you can either chop them up in here or take them out and put them on here, cut them into little slivers and then fold that back in. The other way is the way that I like to do it. I like to incorporate the egg into it, mush it all around with the rice and stuff because I find that that adds moisture to uh, the whole thing and the rice is a little less dry. Sometimes you have fried rice that's a little dry and I don't really dig that. So here's what we'll do. We'll mix this. Sam, where do you buy the to what is it? Togayashi? Togarashi? Togarashi. Wait. Where hey, practice girl, let me see your face when you ask that question. Okay. Here's my face. Here we go. Ask that question where again. Where do you buy the, say it. Togarashi? Where Togarashi. Where do you buy that? You buy it at uh, any, any Japanese supermarket. And probably many of the Chinese supermarkets would also have it. Okay. There's a lot of crossover ingredients that they carry. Okay, you good here? I'm trying to make this fairly simple fried rice. I forgot one thing. What? I, I need my soy sauce and it's outside. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Lucky. <laughs> wow, this is a bigger problem. Maybe it's not out here. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's not out there. What do you look, what is it? Oh, it's right here. I thought I had, so I'm, I'm working double duty with the, the refrigerators because I've got, this one was down for a couple days and. You got refrigerator engines. Yeah, okay. So all this is is beaten egg, uh, sesame oil, and now a little soy, right? And now the, the important part, the rice, and here's the rice. Did I take it out? Oh, I took it out. Here's the rice. Cold rice, previously cooked. You can't make fresh rice and do this. It just doesn't work because it'll be, it'll be gloppy and gummy and you don't want that. So just try and spread it out as best as you can in here. And then we're gonna start to mix this in. And we've made fruit fried rice on the show before. Yeah, and that the beautiful part of that is pretty much any leftover stuff that you have in your fridge, you can use. Vegetables, chicken, meats, pieces of bacon, anything. Just throw it in. All you gotta do is go to the samlivecast.com slash recipes. Okay, this is taking longer than I wanted. Okay. And it's hot. My hands. It is hot. All right, this, let me get this off my hands now. Wow, rice really sticks really well. Okay. Now, you're doing this, of course, right? You're mixing this in well enough to incorporate the, the ham, the mushrooms, but you're really, you're breaking this up. And once you've got it broken up, then we're really close to being done. Allie, do you guys ever make fried rice? Um, yeah. Let's see you. <laughs> <laughs> Not like regularly, You're practicing. but, good. um, you know. But it's a good, look, it's a great way to use up stuff. Yes. Right? If I had just a little bacon left over, some veggies, I could totally do it right here and it would be fine. Yep. I'm going with like a simple version, but okay, the rice needs to be hot. And it is, it's getting there, it's pretty hot. Because when you pour the egg in, the egg's gonna cook through the whole thing. Um, did I take out uh, green onions? Does anybody know? I feel like I saw green onions. I didn't see them. Wait a sec. <laughs> oh, here they are. They're right behind me. You get two of these. Okay. I just want to remind everybody really quickly that we are going to be giving away, we all of you, tons of awesome stuff to winners who put their name into the we, the iTunes comment section for the same livecast. Just go to iTunes, search the same livecast. We're going to be giving away that awesome stuff. You just got to put your name into the comment section, leave us a rating. 
And uh, on Monday's show, we're going to be giving away stuff, so don't forget to do all that and tune in. All right. We're good. We're great here. Onion, this, 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 this. Okay, so now watch. Wait, just let me... Oh! Okay. i got to get this hot. Shit. Shit, because it requires an egg. Shit. All right, Maxie. Simple, right? This is gonna get hot. Let me just crack one egg on here. Cause this is going on top. Remember the whole broken yolk thing? Oh yeah. Runny yolk down inside the deal. Back up for one sec. That needs to be a little hotter. Okay, and here's what happens with, the, with this beaten egg. It goes like this. Beaten egg, soy, little sesame oil over the top. Oh, the smell. Yeah, so there's all that moisture that the rice kind of right. needed. And I think if you, if you cook the egg the other way, if you cook it first, and then, like a little uh, omelet, totally beaten, flattened out and cut, I feel like you're not adding any, yeah. any moisture to this. And I don't like dry fried rice. I like this kind of fried rice. Oh my God. It's looking amazing. It's looking amazing. So just let me just throw these onions in right now. We'll just give these a little stir and cut a little bit more for the top. Mm. I love that. That's done. This, I don't know, like a minute away from being ready. Get an interesting bowl. Uh, it's nice to have a few pieces that are not traditional. I could use this white bowl right here to put it in or a clean one, but I like this little Asian style one. It's good. This has to be a perfectly uh, runny yolk. I cannot break it. If I break it, I absolutely will just cry because it's all about busting the yolk and having it run into the rice. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Should we just take one quick taste of this? Mmm, the ham. Mm hmm. Really good. Let me just take a second to tell you about Fixers Living, a valued sponsor of ours. Check them out on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Fixers Living, or on the internet, fixersliving.com. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. They will blow your mind when it comes to anything that you need in those categories for your home. If you're doing a new kitchen, you're doing a new bathroom, thinking about making some changes outside to your yard, where your grill setup is, gas grills, smokers, green eggs, they got it covered, all of it. Check them out, you will like them as much as we like them. Okay, so rice, like this, right there. And now the egg. Sorry, why did I put that there? The egg on top, just like that, Maxie. You just cut a tiny bit more green onion. And because we've been talking about it, just a little togarashi. Wow. And here's this bite. Here's the bite that's the bite that everybody wants. Ready? Yolk. Boom. That's it right there. And this, oh, I can smell the togarashi. Mushroom, ham, 
Green onion, holy shit. This is so good. I love breakfast wheat. And I love this. I've never had this before. <laughs> if the white rice thing has been my favorite late night, this has become the new one. Always keep some rice around the house, cold in the fridge. You can do this in a moment's notice. We're going to talk about rice cookers next week. Thank you for hanging out with us. Subscribe on iTunes. Tell your friends. Don't forget to leave comments. We'll be giving away a bunch of that We All of stuff. Check them out at weallof.com. You guys are awesome. See you next week. Don't know what it will be, but the food will be great and it will be lots of fun. Thanks a lot.